for checking us and check it out. Now, I'm going to keep telling y'all, man, I don't know too much about Guap Dad 4000, but let me tell y'all this, man. This nigga Russ and his goddamn Nigerian hit squad, them fucking Nigerian goons, they beat this nigga into goddamn just having a permanent whispering voice. And to keep it real, he on the gram typing like he got a PhD. I've never seen such a thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, the last video I showed you uh, a brutal beatdown of a rapper who basically had mentioned Russ in, like, a song. And I didn't think it was that disrespectful, but Russ ain't really going for none of that shit these days, okay? Now, Russ didn't want to seem like a bully. So he actually took to my Instagram comment section and he explained why he gave homie a bad case of the lumps. Now, this is what Russ actually says. He says, about to go on stage and headline. But I'm going to just say this. Number one, you mention somebody's name in your song and in a negative light and they walk up on you and punch you in your mouth. That's not getting snuck. You should know what time it is. Number two. You said I hit you and ran into my trailer. Wrong. I ran after you. Number three, you said your security couldn't get to me and they got beat up by the fence. Wrong. You got caught and punched in the face and you ran out the festival. God damn it, man. Run down Russ is giving niggas no passes. Okay. Then he says number four, you said you fight. But someone who you diss walked up to you and you did nothing but smirk and get jawed. You ran and your friend stayed behind and went harder for you than you did. Ain't nothing in your video the truth. You're a clown. Never mention my name again. We don't know each other from nowhere. So there was no reason for you to have my name in your little song in the first place. God damn it, man. Yo, Russ is actually giving this nigga, like, a, a stern talking to, like, he just whipped his ass like a dad to a son. Now, Guap Dad, he had to actually respond back. And in response, he did, okay? He got on Instagram, and I ain't gonna lie, man, for a nigga who got his ass whipped, I've never seen a nigga type in perfect English, perfect punctuation. This looked like a goddamn prepared statement, okay? Now, this is what Guap Dad 4000 said. He said, last thing I'll say, the video was cut. You think when the video ends, the fight just stops? <laughs> LOL, I was cornered, and I decided to take a few hits in order to get to the other side of the fence where I could fight niggas as they squeeze through. I fought niggas off and ran back after to help my crew who was fighting his security still. Never said I won. A nigga got jumped. I was sitting in my trailer steps trying to catch some air because <sighs> I just got off stage. He walked up and asked about the song like he wanted to talk. And I said, for sure. And then I turned around and put my phone down and my drink down. And I got caught slipping. Bruh threw his punch. Then every nigga swung on me. So yeah, I wiggled out. The fuck? No knockout. No black eye. And I don't know if you've ever been punched by security. But that's not something you stick around to hold your ground for. <laughs> okay? And I ain't leave the festival. I stayed. And when he came back... The police followed him, and he threw a tantrum because I was still there. Crazy thing is I actually DM'd Russ a while back and told him the line on Prada Process wasn't to diss, and he read it and kept it moving. In my mind, we had no problems, and now we're here. Either way, it won't happen again. Now, again, Russ ain't listen to no nigga cop please, okay? Not a nigga who types this grammatically correct, okay? Russ got the full court press on, and it looked like them goddamn Nigerian goons, they're ready to put him on work, okay? Now, Russ said, you see somebody you diss walk up to you, and you get punched in the mouth? Apparently, people want a 3-2-1 from a referee. If motherfuckers was as real as they say they are, he should have swung the second he saw me, because he knew what time it was if I'm approaching like that. Now, I got to be honest, man. You know, I don't know this the Guap Dad 4000 dude. He seems like a really nice, nice guy. But what I do have to say is, Russ got a point, but my biggest problem with Guap Dad 4000 is the people with him. There was a white boy getting tossed around like goddamn mayonnaise, okay? He was getting tossed around like salad dressing, bro. He was getting tossed around like blue cheese, okay? But... In reality, there was another guy with them. And I got to imagine he's only there with two people. Like, probably his manager, most likely the white guy, and then the DJ, probably that black guy who, like, stood in the trailer and did nothing. He got to address the fact why his mans didn't come out while they're basically getting their ass beat at a festival Royal Rumble. That's all I got to say. Other than that, I think he's handling this the right way, just kind of taking a stride, 
move on. Again, Russ is going to have his moment right now because, to be honest, like, you ain't do nothing to him and he whipped your ass. I'm sorry to say. Okay? But now, Guap Dad will probably move a little bit different in the future because, again, not because you tell somebody, yo, it wasn't no problem. doesn't mean they're going to take it like that. Just rule of thumb that I've learned with artists. When you're going to be around, motherfuckers, just make sure you got people around because you never know when shit might go left and their people is always on go for whatever they say. So, again, just an unfortunate incident of our uh, Guap Dad 4000 get caught slipping. I ain't going to lie, man. He got caught slipping so bad. We might have to call him Guap Dad.4, okay? He got the beats, all right? Regardless, it's glad he had no black eyes. Glad, you know, he was performing in Portland the next day. He was able to do that. But... Hopefully, he could take this in stride and learn a thing or two, okay? Russ, give these boys a chance, please, okay? Shit. Get a guy, Mark. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe.